Hey, you do, Bruce. JD Cap 26 here. We just do repairs and tips. And uh, we had a question about uh, setting one, two, three, and four. And we're going to show one, two, three, and four here, hopefully. And we've got it set on one for a stitch, for a straight stitch. And so we got to put the foot down. Okay. That's number one. Lift the foot up, pull the wheel up, and <clears throat> comparable to zero, there's zero. Let's cut it off here. <clears throat> and pull the thread out with the bobbin if we can. There we go. Kind of slippery. <clears throat> a little bit let's cut it off here this is a thread seam, uh, seam uh, ripper you can find seam rippers like this and you can find very fancy and beautiful ones my friend uh, Zach Higgins matter of fact um, <clears throat> on NV Woodworks he makes some beautiful seam rippers you gotta see them if you like to sew um, check, his, check his site out You'll see them over there. So let's put this down. And uh, let's set it to number two here. So we have it set to two. And... Lift that up. Pull it out. And there's number two. It looks like... The progression is getting wider in the stitch. So let's see three. We'll set it to three. Let's pull this out so we don't make a mess. Okay, so we went from zero. We're up to three now. Okay. Get all this. Okay. Hold this, always hold the thread. Put the foot down. And let's open that up. And see how it's going towards a zigzag stitch? It's almost a semi zigzag stitch. And you got a wider space in between each stitch. And that was number three. So you get the idea. So this is, um, this was zero. This is one, this is two, this is three. And of course, naturally, when you go to four, it's gonna be wider. It's gonna have more of that zigzag to it. And when you go all the way to five, it's gonna be a full zigzag stitch. So I wanna show you that, and uh, <clears throat> I hope this answered your question, and you have a great day, and thanks for watching.